but I don't know what it is about Mondays, but I'm just not feeling it today. But Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope your weekend was awesome. Today is week three, day one in my classroom. Time to decorate. So if you look behind me, I have tons of things on this card over here and a few things on this table, which is very hard to see, um, that I have picked up that I need to put down in my classroom. I also remember to bring my, can you see that? Yes, my carpet markers, my, Six spots. So they come in five colors. I will put the Amazon link below. No affiliate link or anything like that. Just a link for you guys to pick up yours if you want to. You actually get 30. So you get six of each color. So this is what it looks like when, it's, when it comes. I'm ready to get those little tape strips up that I put down last week. And then I'm going to get just like a colorful, um, tape to mark off that area for my carpet area um i think that's gonna go really well and then the next thing i'm going to do is um start printing and cutting out all of the things that i want to go on my walls and start using my cricut to print out my quotes and that sort of thing and start getting that up so we're gonna get started with that and get the day going and yeah so you may not see me doing a lot of paper things like cutting everything out and all that but you will see me putting it up So I just put down my little sit spots. I really like how colorful they are. So I'm gonna definitely find some better tape, but I just have my little area taped off right here. So I picked up all the little tape strips. Now, originally it was like in a V format, but when I started putting the little spots down, it wouldn't work. So depending on how many kids I have. So right now I have 25 sit spots down, but if I only have 20 kids, then I can take up five and space it out a little bit better. So that was project number one <laughs> for the day. Okay guys, so for my next task of the day, I'm gonna go ahead and find a place for everything in my box over here and then I'm gonna start categorizing my library. I think those are two priorities that I need to do, but while that's happening, I'm also gonna start some things printing on my computer, so multitasking.
it is 3 30 just about the end of the day um and i have not been very productive today so i cut out my number line i laminated my alphabet but i haven't cut that out yet and i've cut out my number sense and my numbers to go um in my um cubbies but i don't know what it is about mondays but i'm just not feeling it today but before I leave, I want to go ahead and tell you guys about these books that I picked up from a website called Fifth Street Books. So, when you go onto the website, you can select the grade level that you want to pick. And then I believe each set of books costs like $25. So, I had three sets of books in here. Um, and I have some great read aloud, some great books um, that I purchased. So, and like these are real great titles. I even have some hardcover books in here. So, if you are looking to build up your classroom library, make sure that you go check out Fifth Street Books. So, that's what I'm gonna do right now. These books that are already here on the floor here, I picked up from Scholastic over the summer using some points that I had left over. So these books in here all came from Fifth Street Books. I've decided to organize my library in a couple of different ways. I decided that I am going to organize by genre, but I am also going to put the AR levels in those books. As well as, um, I'm also going to level them from A to L as well. Um, and I'm just gonna use those Avery Circle stickers to do that. But today, I'm going to organize them by genre or by collection. So, like, I have Ramona the Brave, so she'll have her own little section. Um, I also have Judy Moody, which will have her own little section. I have The Black Lagoon Adventures. Look how many books that is, guys. Yeah. It will have its own section and um, have the Magic Tree House over there and a few others that will all be placed in the same bins and they will have their own levels. Now the rest of the books that are not in a collection, I'm going to organize those by genre and then I'm also going to put a label in there just with my name and then um, the AR level as well as the, um, as well as labeling them from A to L. So, here we go. didn't do all of the organizing that I wanted to do but I just kind of you saw me placing my books I was doing sort of like a theme I guess based on looking at them I put things that were together like all of the Christmas books I put those together um, unless it was like this set of books here it says uh, Christmas mice and this one says Easter mice so I put those together but then the other books that just talked about Christmas I put those over here so that's gonna be it for today's vlog it wasn't as productive as i wanted it to be but in the morning when i come in i'm gonna go ahead and finish my library and start getting things up on the wall because i have to go by hobby lobby and pick up some fabric bulletin boards done tomorrow as well as hanging things from the ceilings and then it's gonna all be about just like decorating bulletin boards getting things lined up and then start um working on my curriculum Okay guys, so thanks so much for watching. Stay tuned for day two. Bye guys. Good morning guys, day two, week three. I feel like every Tuesday I'm always saying the exact same thing. Yesterday was very unproductive. And it was, um, it started off just bad before I got to school and then I wasn't as productive as I wanted to be. So I got all my books, which you saw me do in the last clip from yesterday and I have laminated all the things so right now i am just going to sit down and cut out all of my lamination first and i'm waiting on an email from an app um that i want to use to um categorize my library so once i hear back from them then i'm going to start working on my library 
I'm gonna get my Cubby's label today and make a plan for all of my walls. And I'm thinking about running to Hobby Lobby, which is about 20 minutes from here, and getting some fabric and putting them up on my bulletin boards. But I'm also deciding on quotes as well. So today is going to be productive. I'm not leaving out of this room unless I'm going to do something. I'm not going to socialize or sit around. I'm going to get these and get to work. So let's get started. pieces and now I'm ready to figure out what wall everything is going to go on so I'm just going to go around the room and try to figure out where everything is going and I'm gonna use some sticky notes to do that I've also cut out my students um, cubby numbers so I gotta go find some t packing tape so that I can um, put it on the cubby over there so let's get to it <music> So I have been trying to figure out how to put my alphabet up and I have cut this stuff off twice. So we're gonna do this again. So I'm gonna put all of my alphabet on this side and I'm gonna put my number sense over here. So let's get to it. Okay guys. Okay guys, so I have put up my number line and put up my alphabet and my numbers. I gotta put up my shapes and I'm gonna go ahead and put up my bulletin board and I'm actually gonna start cutting out all of my letters from my quotes. Um, 
actually i'm gonna cut out my letters from my quotes at home um i don't want to waste classroom time doing something i can do at home so i'm gonna take my cricut home and do that i have my idea for my quotes so we'll be putting those up tomorrow and i'm about to get my library organized before i leave and this unbox so let me show you what i've got So here are my number sense posters and there's a glare right there, but these are my number sense posters. I'm trying to get it to, there we go. So here are my number sense posters. I really like them. Eight is a little cricket, so I may fix that. And then here are my alphabets. So I really love the way that turned out. And then back there is my number line. So I had to stop at 100 because that's as far as I can go. Mm -hmm. 